we're a few blocks out. Y'all watch yourself. You got it, boss. Here we go, this is it. Police department. You in a dangerous place. Hi, welcome to No Bullshit Reviews, where I'm not gonna bother snarking on movies I don't like, and I'm gonna give you actual recommendations of movies you should probably watch, and I'm gonna tell you why. First up, Sinners and Saints, a 2010 cop flick directed by William Kaufman, starring Johnny Strong, who you should recognize as Randy Shugart in Black Hawk Down, returning to the screen from a hiatus he took to work on his band Operator, and making fucking knives. Johnny Strong confirmed for real badass motherfucker, by the way. Anyway, the summary is on IMDb. I'm not going to fall for the easy review trap of summarizing the whole movie. But the plot basically is, Detective Sean Riley is assigned to work a homicide case after a shootout. Basically placed there as a timeout, and shit gets real when he links the case to his childhood friend Colin, played by Sean Patrick Flannery of Boondock Saints fame. That's all you need to know going in. Now, here's why you might like it. It's fucking awesome and a really fun watch. Is it a gripping story with unique twists and turns? Eh, not really. I mean, it's not a bad story, but it's nothing new. But that's not really a problem in my eyes. It tells its story competently, with decent enough writing acted well enough to immerse me. And that's all I asked from this movie. It's a fun romp with really well done shootouts, and that's something I can appreciate. Now, here's some things you might find interesting and might want to take note of. Number one, Sonny fucking Puzakas. For those of you not in the know, Sonny Puzakas is an ex motherfucking Spetsnaz who Millsbergs first saw in weaponology. Being a K, being very reliable weapon. He did the weapons training on this. He's also in it as a thug who dies without so much as a line, but it's pretty neat that they have the dude training the cast. He's also actually in William Coffin's next film, Daylight Send, also starring Johnny Strong. Dead Den, it's 12 stories of darkness. Number two, Johnny's rifle at the end shootout is based on William Kaufman's own 10.5 SBR, which I think is pretty neat that the director owns NFA stuff and is an avid gun guy. I mean, if you follow Johnny on Instagram, he's also a big gun guy who owns a pretty sweet M25 if memory serves. It's actually pretty similar to Randy Shugart's. Number three, the shootouts are awesome. Granted, there are parts where they do fall into the Hollywood trap of a bullet not penetrating plywood, but overall, they're really intense, well shot, and have great sound. Something very important to an on-screen shootout. Number four, Johnny Strong also did the music. In fact, Kaufman originally just approached him to use a song, which I believe was Let You Go off the Operator album Soul Crusher. Johnny just liked the script so much he wanted to star in it too. Johnny's a pretty good musician, very gritty and grungy, not quite sure to who to compare it to. Number five. Hey, did anyone recognize that Magpul Dynamics footage in the title sequence? Because I know I did. Number six. Bas Rutten. Bas Rutten, forgive me if I'm mispronouncing the name, is really good in this movie. Much better than he really should be for a fighter as turning into an actor, but his performance is actually pretty stellar. He can really kill with kindness, and it's pretty impressive. Anyways, overall, Sinners and Saints has got to be my favorite direct-to-disc action movie I've seen to this point. It's a shame it didn't get any theater play, but it's still great on Blu-ray. Although I am kind of disappointed with the special feature. But, if you really want some cool behind-the-scenes footage, Johnny Strong has a nice little featurette thing on his YouTube channel, Team J Strong, called Bullets Don't Lie, which is him and Sonny training for the film. It's pretty neat. Check it out.